In this exercise, what we're going to do is take a look at exporting slices out. Now, I want you to be really clear on one thing about working with slices and fireworks. When you export the slices out, it is a table-based layout. I know this is going to drive the standard east as crazy, but really this is just something that the client can look at or the team can look at and sort of see how everything works. So this isn't the final thing. As a matter of fact, what will happen is, is you can, will probably rebuild the page in something like Dreamweaver or some other editor. So let's get started. And to get started, open up the fwuser02.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that it's the previous exercise sliced up a little bit more. I've got all the graphics sliced here. What you want to do when you're slicing up a page is just slice up the graphics. Don't worry about anything else. A couple of things I do want you to pay attention to, though. Right here, the Twitter. You'll notice that it's a little bit on the short side, so I'm just going to pull it down a bit. And if I click on it, you'll see that it actually has a link. If the user clicks on it, it's going to go to twitter.com. And I've thrown in some alt text, which is linked to a Twitter feed. This is for accessibility. Okay, I'm going to close the states and zoom back out. The other uh, change, of course, is the uh, coffee cup. The coffee cup is actually a state, so I'm just going to turn off the slice here. And if I select it, you'll see state one is the coffee cup. State two is the grayscale one or the desaturated version of it. So this is going to be done as a rollover. I'll just turn the slice back on. There we go. I'm going to close the states panel. And you can see that all the slices have been made and they are all appropriately named. And now what we're going to do is export this thing. And this is very easy to do. File, export. And you'll come to the export dialog box. And what I want you to do is to get over to your exercise folder and look for the FW user site folder. It's just an empty folder I've put into your exercise folder. This is where everything's going to go. Your first choice is HTML and images. You notice there's a lot of choice here, but right now, HTML and images. Make sure that it's going to export an HTML file, that you're going to export the slices. And again, pay attention to pages. This is a one-page document, so it's current pages, but if you want to export a multi-page document that's been sliced up, all pages, or you can even select which pages to export. There are some options here. You can see that there are a bunch of them. We're going to go with the Dreamweaver XHTML so that we can go with CSS, and you can see CSS for pop-up menus. If there's a CSS file, it's going to be written to an external file. The table area just gives you the options for tables, so you can set spacers and cell colors, and whether there be a spacer image or whatever, and the document specific actually just gives you the opportunity to determine how the states will be named. Okay, I'm going to click cancel on that one. Okay, so we're back to there. Again, we're going to make sure that it's going to fwuser.htm. Make sure it's going to the site. Next thing you want to do is include the areas without slices. No. If you don't include areas without slices, what's going to happen is you're going to wind up with a whole bunch of holes in your page. So you make sure that this is selected. The other thing is, is that put images in a subfolder. What will happen here is it will actually create a folder named images and put it in your site. So if you have a folder in there named graphics, you can just browse to that folder and say, look, put the slices in that folder. If you don't, then just let Fireworks do the work for you. Click export, and seriously, it's done. And uh, what I'm going to do is shrink that, come here, and you can see inside the FW user site, there's the HTM file that we created. And for those of you that are sitting down, stay put. For those of you that are standing up, sit down. These are the slices. And one thing you do not do with any of these images is remove them. Just leave them alone. These are the slices for the image. They're all in there. And if I... Uh, back up one level and open up fwuser.htm, you can see that it works. Okay, so what we're dealing with here are slices. There's that little link you see to Twitter. There's that rollover. So it basically is a click through that the user can go through. So there you go. There's working with slices. Now in this exercise, we covered a lot of ground. We covered off how to slice uh, a document for multiple slices. I'm just going to go to uh, fit all here so you can see going to slice for multiple documents. What you want to do is make sure that just the graphics are sliced up. You don't need to slice the text. 
Another thing you don't want to do is have slices overlapping each other. This is not a good thing. I showed you how to uh, change a slice, and I also showed you how to actually make a slice interactive by adding a link to it and even giving it some alt text, and you can even determine where it's going to go. I also showed you how to use the export menu to create the slices and export the document. Covered off a number of features of this, chief of which is right in here. You make sure that everything that you want exported is listed in here. I also explained why you would include areas without slices and how to create a subfolder for the images. It's a handy technique to use, especially when you are prototyping and you want to give the team or the uh, client something to see that's somewhat interactive. But remember, this is not the final output.